Hi everyone, I'm Shelby. Welcome to this video. Welcome to my channel. Shelby Shuffle Mode is a music-based YouTube channel, so if you are into all different sorts of music, go ahead and hit subscribe. But today I was inspired to make this video because I was just going through my Spotify library and realized it's been a long time since I've listened to some of my favorite Ed Sheeran songs. And I mean, every once in a while, I love a good singer songwriter moment every once in a while. And it made me go down the path of going on his artist page and I saw what his top five most popular songs were. And I immediately, I, I guess I wasn't shocked by what songs I saw, but also I thought of literally so many other songs by him that I would rather wish to see as his most popular songs, like my favorites. So it inspired me to film this video. So today I am going to be reacting to Ed Sheeran's top five most popular songs on Spotify and saying what songs I would rather see there instead, because there are so many other songs that I think would be great in the top five. First of all, let's just go ahead and mention that his top five songs all have over, well over a billion streams, which is absolutely bonkers. And the one with the least amount of streams is I Don't Care with Justin Bieber. Ed Sheeran released last year a collaborations album, which I think is totally fine, but Clearly, there were all different sorts of genres and music and everything going on. And when you have two names like Ed Sheeran and Justin Bieber, I'm not shocked it has this many listens. But what makes me a little bit sad about it is just the simple fact of knowing that there are so many better Ed Sheeran songs out there. But I understand it's very poppy. Um... I personally wouldn't pick anything from his collaborations album to be in the top five, only because I think that was more of like a passion project, project with friends and other musicians, but none of it really screamed like Ed Sheeran music. So I'm really bummed to see that one there, but I get why it is there. It is what it is. Okay, so the next one at 1.4 billion some streams is from his album Multiply in 2014 and that is Photograph. Photograph is one of those songs that when I first heard it and I first when I listened to Multiply a few years ago I was like oh this is a sweet song and I was shocked when I found out that Photograph was going to be a single. Now clearly it's done very well obviously, but I could name at least three other songs on that album that I would have in place of Photograph, but I will get to that towards the end. Just considering all of the different sorts of songs on that album, I honestly am surprised that one took off as much as it did, but I guess it's a cute love song, which people relate to that, so it's fine. The third most streamed song by Ed Sheeran on Spotify is perfect from the divide album and i will say between perfect and photograph i definitely prefer perfect over photograph by a mile um and i also think that out of the slower songs on divide that is a great one now that's a uh, supermarket flowers gets me but that would never be a single because it is so personal to him and very very depressing. It's about losing a loved one. I am cool with that one staying in the top five most streamed. The second most streamed song by Ed Sheeran is from Multiply and that is Thinking Out Loud. I am okay with Thinking Out Loud being in the top five but my only problem I have with some of Ed Sheeran's songs is when I first heard Thinking Out Loud, when I listened to Multiply, I was like, oh, I love this song. This song's adorable. I really enjoy it. And when I heard it was going to be a single, I was like, the world is going to ruin this song for me. 
and it kind of happened. It still gets played a lot to this day and the mass popularity of it did kind of ruin it a bit. So Thinking Out Loud definitely is one of those songs that when I first heard it on my own and on my own terms before it was a single, I loved it. But over the years, with the intense amount of playing, it has dropped lower on my list of Ed Sheeran songs I love, but also because truly there are some songs from Multiply that I just think are so great and a really good example of like genuine singer songwriting and just I think that show off. Yeah, it's a cute song. It's a beautiful song, but the world made it way too popular. <laughs> the number one most streamed song by Ed Sheeran on Spotify has over 2.6 billion streams and this one I think bothers me the most, <laughs> especially knowing it has that many streams and that is Shape of You. I have never really enjoyed that song. <laughs> I just like, <sighs> Ed Sheeran is so phenomenal and he truly is a very talented lyricist. He's a very talented musician and Shape of You was very obviously uh, a radio song. It truly was. And I think what just bums me out is that it, although I get why it's popular on the radio, just someone that knows like all of his songs and having listened to his songs since about 2011, it just kind of made me sad that there are some other songs that he's released even as singles that I just love way, 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 way more than Shape of You. I just don't think that is his strongest single. I feel like people are going to come for me without saying this, but this is coming from the perspective of someone who truly, I have listened to Ed Sheeran's music for the last like nine years and I know and appreciate his talent and his musicianship and that is why with some of the other songs he's released I am just shocked that Shape of You is the one that has exploded to that level if that makes any sense. I am not saying it's a bad song I'm just saying that out of like pretty much a majority of his other songs I just wouldn't pick to listen to it. That's the top five most popular songs by Ed Sheeran on Spotify, and I'm gonna include the list right here. I want people to notice something. There isn't a single song on this list from his first album, Plus, and that makes me very mad. <laughs> I do not understand how there is not a song from Plus on here. I remember the A-Team was really popular. The fact that You Need Me, I Don't Need You, or Lego House, neither of them are in the top five, and that is absolutely insane to me. I do not understand. I also love Give Me Love, oh my gosh. I am absolutely shocked that we don't have a single song from Plus in this top five, so I would definitely change that from Multiply. So I kind of, let my feelings be known. I'll let Thinking Out Loud stay. It really is a really cute love song. Photograph just has never been a super strong one for me personally, like ever. And I would definitely replace Photograph with like, oh, Bloodstream, for example. I love it. I think it's one of the grittier songs by Ed lyrically. I mean, it's talking about things kicking in his bloodstream. I mean, you can figure it out if you can't figure out what I'm talking about. Like I said earlier, Perfect can stay in the top five. I do think that is a cute Ed Sheeran love song. People love a good cute Ed Sheeran love song, which I get, especially as a singer-songwriter. A lot of people are drawn to those sorts of lyrics from singer-songwriters, but 
Instead of Shape of You, I'm going to list just a few other fast paced songs from Divide that literally could very easily replace Shape of You. One, Galway Girl. That is such a fun, fun song. I love it. I love it. It's fun. I also really like Barcelona and Nancy Mulligan. Now, I don't think those two would have been singles, but I just think they're really fun. Singles wise, then, if we're talking only singles, I'm pretty sure Gal Galway Girl, wow, I can't even say it. I'm pretty sure Galway Girl was a single. Yeah, I'm fairly positive it was. So in that case, I definitely wish that one got more love than Shape of You, just because it's truly so, so fun. Lastly, I don't care with Justin Bieber. Like I said, I'm not surprised that it is one of the most streamed songs by him, but I mentioned a few other songs that I think could easily replace it just from a music standpoint that I enjoy more, but I understand with having the names Justin Bieber and Ed Sheeran, you're going to get a lot of listens and it's going to do very well on the pop charts very easily, regardless of how the song is, just because you have both those huge names on the same track. There it is. I laid my opinions out there and I want to really preface this with I truly do enjoy Ed Sheeran's music. I think he is a very, very talented musician. I just wish that some of his other songs would get more recognition. The songs that I feel are a bit more original, unique, and still I think could do well in pop radio, even if they aren't the most like blatantly obvious radio songs that he's put on his albums. Let me know in the comments what songs you love by Ed Sheeran or what your favorite album is from Ed Sheeran. I would love to know that. This is the first time I've talked about him on my channel, so I would definitely love to know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. I would really, really appreciate that. But once again, thank you for watching, and until next time, bye.